Hola. Brett Topo Ranger here on our way back from our uh, wind cave follow-up trip and uh, we're here in Mardic Forge, Lancaster County. I wanted to just take a uh, take a few minutes and um, head into the state game lands here and uh, take a peek at Susie's Hole. Uh, <laughs> uh, Susie's Hole is actually a, uh, a very popular swimming hole. Um, I was here maybe a month ago and I sort of was thinking about coming and it was like there were like 40 cars 30 or 40. I mean there was just it was so crowded that's when I went actually went to Kelly's run um Kelly's run maximum overhang that's a good upset check that out I'll put the um I'll put the link right up here in the video anyway I just wanted to come out check out Susie's hole check out the Peckle Creek which is where we are right now and there was a forge around here at one time. Uh, that's really all I know about this area. Um, so this is just gonna be kind of a short little recon trip, but sometimes those recon trips are the are really fun. Now here's a creek here. I saw this coming in and I was wondering where this sucker, ah, okay. I see. There's a the little conch. I think there's the ruins right up here. I think this might have been the forge. And, um, whoa, look at this. That's a monster. This looks like a, uh, is this a sycamore tree? I think this is a sycamore. Look at this thing. Holy frick. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing, it's huge. Okay, I just wanted to come down, check the creek out. What the heck is that? Oh. All right, so here's where this little stream comes in. It's kind of drizzly today. That's why I decided to go underground, just to get away from the, the hot muggy, mugginess of the air and also, uh, because it's kind of drizzly. It's not raining right now, but it was five minutes ago. So this is Pequa Creek. This is a big creek. This is like the size of the Cadoras Creek. And it and in Pequa Creek, I think when it gets down right about here, it runs through a gorge similar to uh, Cadoras and Muddy Creek over in York County. I've never been to this place. I've never been in this location. Uh, I've, I've never been here. So there's a trail. Susie's Hole's down there. Let's go find the trail. All right, we found the trail. I don't think it's more than about a quarter of a mile from here down to Susie's Hole. So it shouldn't take me that long to get there. I'll pick it up when we hit the hole. Looks like we got a little mini gorge here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, wow. Look at these uh these plants that are hanging off the uh, cliffs that's really cool look at this look at this i wonder what these are huh they're some type of vine plant well, look at the way they look at the way they come off that outcrop man that's cool all right, so this is, I don't know what this is. This is some type of infeeder to uh, some type of infeeder into Pequa Creek. Look, I can see the ruins right up there of some type of bridge. There's something going on up there. We're definitely on the schist. Let's keep keep trucking. There's the trail. Check out this sandy sandy shore. That's that 
Schist schisty sand we saw down in the gorge. I don't think we're too far off now. It's a really cool trail. It's uh, very flat, very easy, very wide. And it's surrounded by pine trees and whatnot. All right, I think we're getting closer here. We're not quite there. Nice beach here, huh? Look at this. It's starting to rain again. Yeah. Got a nice little current going here. I think this is it right here. Right around the corner. Now, one of the reasons I'm interested in Susie's Hole is because I'm, I do a lot of research online, different places I can go to, to film episodes. And I, I want to find the deepest natural swimming hole in Pennsylvania uh, that has relatively clear water, not muddy water, not like a river, because there's deep spots in the river, but they're muddy and there's currents are strong it's, da it's dangerous I don't want to do that I want to see what I'm diving into in other words um, I thought maybe Fishing Creek right where it goes under the bridge there at the confluence with Susquehanna I thought maybe that was gonna be deep but I actually tested this camera out there last week um, I didn't I'm not gonna publish the footage but um, it's only about 10 maybe 15 feet deep and that's just in one specific spot so I don't I don't think that that's gonna be a really good location uh, I want to have somewhere where I can go and practice free diving um, and have enough depth so it's actually a little bit of a, bit of a challenge. I, my lifetime record, I think, was about 40 feet down in the Caribbean, down in, uh, I think it was St. John I went to once. This, this was a long time ago. I probably couldn't do much more than 30 now because I'm not, you know, I'm not conditioned. But I really would like a place that's relatively close that I could um, go to and something that has, you know, some depth to it. So far, as I know, at this moment, the two places which uh, are the deepest would be this place called Nyog Gorge. Uh, it's a big gorge right outside of Scranton, I think it is. Access there is, uh, is sketchy though. I don't even know if it's legal to go there, but supposedly that's 25 feet. And then there's another swimming hole up by Rock Run, which is uh, a really beautiful swimming hole that I wanna get to um, up in North Central Pennsylvania. Uh, I can't think of the name right now, but um, I'll get it and I'll post it on the screen when I'm editing the video. And that, I read actually, some scuba divers that have actually been up there diving in that swimming hole. And uh, they say that bottomed out at about 25 feet with 10 to 15 foot visibility, which isn't bad. You know, it's a, it's a natural creek like this, it's 25 feet deep. So I'm, um, those are the two deepest ones I've come across so far in my research. I haven't been to either of those, but I want to. Those are future episodes too, by the way. So if you're, you're out there, you're watching this video, if you know of uh, swimming holes that are accessible to the public, where the water's relatively clear during normal water flow conditions, and are at least, at least 20 feet deep, preferably even deeper, 20, 30, 40, I mean, is there a swimming hole, a natural swimming hole in a creek in Pennsylvania that's 50 feet deep where you can actually see what's going on? That would be really cool. I know there are, in other places in the world, but so far I haven't come across any. So if you know of any, um, drop a comment in this video. Uh, and also don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I think we are here. Oh, this is kind of dark and dark and cool down here. Oh, look at that. I wanna be careful here. This looks like some definite, some slippage in here. All right, so this is Susie's hole. The big area is right there, but look at this. Pike what comes down in here. And right here, looks like we got some, let me get a little bit closer here. Looks like we might have some deep spots right here. And look at that right there. Got a little pool, so maybe an, almost like an underwater overhang right there. And you got these schist cliffs coming up probably 50, 60 feet off the creek. 
And there's a little pothole there, you see that? So this is basically the swimming area. I think people jump off here. Um, and you can see some upwelling right there. This probably is a more than eight feet deep here. Maybe eight to 10, maybe. That looks like it might be a little deep over there. Let's go check this out. It's gotta be deep enough to, uh, to jump off of if it's a swimming hole. But I'm not necessarily interested in cliff jumping, although I like to cliff jump. I'm more interested in, you know, how deep is the water? Can I get under there with my camera? And can I find cool stuff? And is the water clear? Um, okay, here we go. Here's, this is the one of the main jumping rocks. Let's go down here. pretty cool oh yeah I like this this is definitely a return trip all right we were just up here this is pretty I mean I don't know about depth I don't think it's particularly that deep but this is a really cool spot all right I'm a little farther down we were just right there now this area here this looks a little bit deeper right here um, looks like there's a cliff jump right over there, and there's a rope, maybe a nice overhang cave. Huh. I mean, visibility is not that good, though. But, you know, I don't know what the situation is upstream. Oh, uh, this might be normal for this creek, for whatever reason, farm runoff, um, or this could be... This could be cloudy, so I, I'm not sure I'd have to come here again. But I'm thinking, I'm not breaking any depth records, but this looks pretty deep right here. 10 feet, maybe 15 in here. I wouldn't mind jumping off that cliff, though. Going underwater, checking out all these, uh, all these underwater cliff lines. I bet you there's some potholes down there, too. Let's go down a little bit farther and get a shot uh, looking up. Kind of that sandy it's not sandy mud i would call it muddy sand but it's a good proportion of sand there and they do there are uh, you can kayak and do tubing down the peckle gorge i think this is part of the peckle gorge to be honest i'm not that familiar with uh with this area But there's probably more, there's probably more stuff, more swimming holes and cliffs and whatnot down there. So who knows? Um, like I said, I'm not gonna, I don't think you're gonna find anything deeper than, at this flow, I don't think you're gonna find anything deeper than 15 feet. Probably most of this is probably 10 and under. Deep enough to jump off, deep enough to swim around, but uh, probably not deep enough to free diving. However, this is a cool spot. This is gonna be a future episode for sure. Um, like I said before, if you guys out there uh, wherever you are, mostly in Pennsylvania, but it doesn't matter, wherever you are in the world, uh, if you know of a deep, uh, deep natural swimming hole that has fairly good visibility, anything over 20 feet. Uh, I'm primarily interested in stuff in Pennsylvania, but you know, you can send me tips uh, for anywhere. Uh, hopefully, at some point, I'll be able to travel around and, uh, and hit these different locations. So uh, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this Susie's Hole. It's a beautiful place. Make sure you uh, subscribe, hit the notifications, and uh, please drop some comments. Um, I love getting feedback from my viewers. Um, it's one of my favorite thing, favorite things about making these videos. And uh, like I said, we'll come back here in the hopefully not too distant future before fall, and we'll go swimming and we'll do an episode. All right. This is Brett for Topo Ranger, signing out.